Bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless it. And here it is, just when we thought things couldn't get any worse, a Minnesota art museum apparently held family-friendly demon summoning. Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to Armor of God. Anyway, back to the demon summoning, according to their website, the Walker Art Center invited parents and children to participate in what the museum described as a totally free collective and playful demon summoning session on August 5th. Demons have a bad reputation, but maybe... We're just not very good at getting to know them. According to an advertisement on the museum's website, the event, which was hosted by artist Timur Etten, was broken into two parts. First, visitors worked with Etten to design a vessel for the demon that knows them best, with some examples including the demon of overthinking or the demon of not trusting your gut, the museum website explained. After constructing their vessels, guests were invited to watch Etten perform a summoning ritual for a spirit named Lilith the Empathic Demon. Lilith will come from the dark side of the moon to lead you in locating your feelings using ancient Babylonian techniques, the website said. Lilith, as some of you know, was often described as Adam's first wife in the Garden of Eden, before the creation of Eve. She features heavily in Eden's artwork through a variety of media, including paintings, performances, and videos. And quite recently, Lilith was featured in Blizzard's game Diablo 4. Eden even created a phone number for Lilith, which receives messages from hundreds of people each month. People can text the number and receive in-character messages from Eden. After summoning Lilith, the Walker Art Center event concluded with a somatic movement meditation designed to help you befriend your shadows. The demon summoning ceremony was part of the museum's free first Saturday program. The program, which is held monthly, brings families into the museum for free programming, while also granting them free admission into the museum gallery. It is things like this that further motivates us to release more videos about the reality of spiritual warfare the danger of these demons and to highlight what priests like Father Vincent Lampert and other exorcists on our channels. And so I'd like to share with you what Father Carlos Martins has to say about this event. So we're and we're seeing more of this in society. And and I, I hope the intention of the of the organizers of this uh, was, was to was, 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 it, that it was a, an endeavor of, of make believe uh, that there was nothing genuinely diabolical in their intention. Now, whether or not the intention is there, if if someone if someone participates in the summoning of a demon, those are all the legal rights a demon needs to attach to someone or, or to a family. But he doesn't need any more than that. But but at the level of 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 personal morality, personal sin, I, I hope the organizers didn't intend for this to be an actual satanic, an actual diabolical summoning. But this, this, we are seeing this, right? We, we several years ago, uh, there was uh, an altar to 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 Satan erected on on at the Capitol building on the front lawn of the Capitol, and uh, that stayed up there for several days. Uh, we we see publicly advertised black masses, and and this is the fallout. This is what happens with the repaganization. Of Christianity, of of society, with with the eclipse of Christianity, then we have we in, invariably people turn to darkness, uh, and this this is happening everywhere in Western society where faith is being usurped. This is a foolish thing to do. We can never be friends with the devil, and anyone who says otherwise is misleading us. As some of you might probably know, Father Martin's has a podcast called The Exorcist Files. It's on the Apple podcast page and has 4.8 out of a 5 rating with more than 3,400 reviews. Yeah, well, you know, I wanted to present the Christian faith in a way that would speak to people without it being preachy, that it would be an enterprise of, of the truth, whereby I'm presenting the gospel through the fifth evangelist. That fifth devan evangelist is Satan. So I, I'm, I'm, you know, in, in the Gospels, there's an aspect of Jesus Christ that no one else presents as effectively as Satan. I mean, others present the Lord, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they, they present the Lord magnificently. But the devil touches on aspects of our Lord's identity that no one else does. And so I thought, gosh, in order to reach out to people in particular, the unchurched, young people in the, in the age segment of 18 to 29. If I were going to give lectures, church lectures, nobody would chime in. If if I were to present uh, the devil as um, kind of the way you would in a Sunday homily, people wouldn't care. But by presenting reenactments of actual exorcism cases with 
reenactments that are done in 3D binaural sound with with a very high Hollywood production value, uh, that's going to at least get people to give it a listen. And then once they have a listen, I think the storytelling combined with the the way that the, that the theology speaks to people is at least going to have people give a full episode a chance. Then, then I think, I think they get hooked, and I think those numbers are are proving that that's been the case. Well, that's all from us this time. It's a rather short video, but it's just something that I'd like to bring your attention to. Again, thanks so much for taking the time to be here with us. God bless you.